Hello everybody and welcome to a new decade 2020. This is the last time you're going to see this background. Next week, new decade, new background. And I want to keep this short and sweet, give you all the information you need for the coming eclipse, but still not, uh, uh, you know, gibberish you with astrologish too much. So here we go, you know. We are heading into one of the most powerful transformational two weeks we are going to face in the next couple of decades. This is a time to shed. This is a time to transform. This is a time to understand the radical changes that are needed for us to survive. The greater authenticity and deeper understanding. This is a week of epiphanies. Next week is as well. And if there is a relationship, if there is a business, if there is a job, if there is something in your life that is no longer authentic, it can peel off right now. And I want to tell you, it peels off so you can shine. It, <coughs> excuse me, it is about unshedding that younger skin and putting a much more mature scale on with your golden scales shining in the sun we need you to shine we need you to shine because if you won't shine nothing would change change yourself change the world this is a time in which we have a stellium unlike any other in the sky in capricorn we have the sun conjunct mercury in kazemi superior conjunction conjunct ceres conjunct pluto conjunct saturn the same degree, the end of, next, of, of, of the week. And all of that, while there's a lunar eclipse going on. So this is definitely a time to see things anew. To understand that we've been all juveniles, Mercury, understand Mercury. And have these epiphanies about how we should head on the, the greater target. Not how we should get more friends, more money, all these earthly matters. This is a superior conjunction. This is about philosophy. This is about the greater and, and higher means of things. Of how we can work as a community to change things, change eclipses. Saturn, Pluto are here to show us the truth and understand we need to take all the darkness from the depth and deal with it. Whether we like it or not, it's transforming. Whether we like it or not, things are changing. Whether we like it or not. Then we have Mars entering Sagittarius, causing us to have less tolerance and less criticism regarding our own actions. And we want to become more reckless and more piggy-like when we feel that reality hitting hard. But it also quincunxes on the 7th Uranus, which means, darling, you are in a new age. You cannot let these patterns go on. All these tendencies and patterns and behaviors need to be cleansed out if you want to be happy. This is a time to move away from that recklessness. This is a time to understand that we have been all juveniles. That we have all been delinquent. In our caretaking, this is an eclipse in... The mother sign of cancer. We've been bad mothers. We've been bad nurturers. We've been bad gardeners to our own home, our own family of earthlings, of beings. And I ask you today to cast a prayer. And I am saying casting a prayer because it's very much like casting a spell. It is about your own concentration of intention. And I don't care if you carry that prayer to your God, Goddess, to yourself, to nature, to the world. I just want you to focus your intentions on the nations of the world and on the beings, the living beings, the living beings in this earth that really need our prayers right now. The animals in the Amazon, the animals in Australia, the people in Australia, and God, all the nation and their leaders that when times change radically, 
they often spiral out of control with aggression. I want us to pray that no conflicts will erupt between the nations of the world through the next two weeks. That peace would prevail, both in our personal lives and in our lives collectively. That we'd be able to deal with the darkness and the changes in a litten and positive way. That we can transform without hurting ourselves or others in the process. And this is what this time is about. Hang on to your ship like an old storm-worn captain hanging on to the steering wheel understanding that it needs to take its sheep through the storm with as less damage to itself and others as possible Jupiter is coming in to shed light on our south node on our all our unfinished karma is being you know, projected on. There's a projector putting light on it and we, we're getting this epiphanies and understanding and maybe we understand a greater connection to all this maternal, to the past, to the place we come from, to our home and family in the greater context of things. We understand we are all one, we are unified, remember, co-ruler of Pisces. Unification community taking up responsibility and then on the 10th we have the full moon eclipse on the 20th degree of cancer with a superior conjunction mercury in superior conjunction in Kazemi with a, a conjunction with Ceres and a day later a conjunction of the Sun Mercury and Ceres with Pluto and Saturn only heightening the need for a personal transformation sun cognitive transformation our words our navigation our exchange with the environment transactions with the environment the way we consume the way we head on in our life the way we work as a community mercury They are going through transformation and nothing is going to be in this new decade with Uranus and Taurus as it was before. Not money, not food, not land. Physical life is changing and we are heading into a decade with less materiality, materiality more communality and a greater focus on ideologies and group groups progressing them together. So, this is something that happens every 34 years. And it's notorious for erupting conflicts. So, stay out of that warm pan in your life, personally and collectively. Let's hope it all happens. And allow yourself to shed and change and shine. That's all I had to say for this time. And I want you to keep on doing your good work because it is important. Focus. Don't let the, stir, the storm keep you away from your helms. It is important not only for you, but for everybody. And right now, if we're not careful, we can hurt ourselves or others, as I said. So shine on and shine brightly. And remember, you're doing it for all of us. You're changing for all of us not only for yourself. May you live long and prosper. Bye-bye.